Hi, good afternoon, and no, it's just, yes, it is just good afternoon. <laughs> Early broadcast today because it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy happy holidays, happy Christmas, Merry Crimble, all of these above titles, that's today's date. Um, and also, happy day four of Hanukkah, just to throw that in there as well. Quick broadcast today because I got social plans to go to, um, and doing this early, hence that's why I'm doing it, and I'll let you know the back end, how you can find out more about my stuff, like, you know, my broadcast and things. But today I just want to throw out some ideas about how you can celebrate in a different way, rather than just giving gifts and pigging out on food, which I'm about to do myself. <laughs> um, real quick, I'm, my invitation to you is today is be more generous with yourself and with other people, be more joyful, be more loving, be more receptive to good things coming back to you as well. Today is a day where it's often times where people are efforting to go visit friends, do certain things to serve, which is great. But can you be more generous in your heart to yourself? Can you be more generous to those people you are challenged by? I had an opportunity last night to go through that one. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm going through it. So my, my invitation to you today is really about looking at how you can be more in flow in your life. By being more generous, more receptive, more joyful, more happy, more loving, all these different things, you create more effortlessness in your life. You become more flow-oriented. You become more able to move through life in more graceful ways. Like ice skating professionally, really good. <laughs> and you flow more gently, which is what I think is a good idea. So today, as it's Christmas Day, especially officially, a chance comes up, there's a chance on your, um, on your plate, so to speak, to be that. Wherever you are today, with, with friends, or out on your own, or, where, or with family, whatever you're doing today, how can you be more loving, more joyful, more generous, more receptive, more giving, more receiving, all those things, in a way that is uplifting to yourself and other people? I'm not going to give you the answer to this. This is an invitation to you. These are the things I'm inviting you to look at, to do for yourself. So it's going to be a regional broadcast. I'm also going to let you know that... Um, let me finish. I'm, I don't want to jump into my promotional piece before I finish talking about this. But the thing about today is it's an opportunity to, in a way, forgive the past. <laughs> and I play with this one. It came up, so I'm going to talk about it. Christmas is a wonderful time for gift giving and receiving all sorts of stuff. But if you still carry around grudges or upsets or resentments or guilt from other things in the past, you're actually hurting yourself. You're not as free as you'd like to be. You're not as able to give as much. You're not able to be as generous or receptive as you'd like to be. So my encouragement to you today is if you are willing to, to start letting go, undoing the knots and letting go of this past judgments, resentments and, and upsets. Because when you do let go of those things, you'll be much more free, more happy, more able to flow again and be more generous too because you're not as constricted. And I talk, I've done talks more specifically about resentment, about guilt, about judgment, about those things and forgiveness before a few weeks ago. So I'll tell you waiting for the replays for those in a moment. Because if you do that, you actually end the year on a much higher note and you certainly start 2020 in a much bigger, more positive, more powerful direction. And isn't that what you want? So a couple of things to support that. Again, I'll give you the replays in a moment where you can find all of my broadcasts. You can check through the ones for forgiveness and judgment and guilt and resentment just so you can get some orientation about how that works because you can really be in a transformed space by doing it and have a lot more energy and a lot more love in your life by undoing the knots of the past restrictions you've been carrying around for decades, perhaps? Just a thought. Um, the other thing I want to just quickly promote, I'll let you know about, is that today is the last day of the early bird pricing on my new masterclass starting in January called BFF, which is Balance, Freedom and Flow. And today was about flows, you realized. So I'm letting you know that if you want to get that, the link will be in the comments. Um, today is the last day to get a massive, yes, a massive, just making sure I'm, I'm accurate about that, um, discount on my on the signing up for that. It starts in January, so it starts in a couple of weeks. Um, however, the price goes up tomorrow. Yes, I'm being blunt about this. Not salesy, just telling you the truth. So if, if, I, if you were... I would recommend, invite you to do, to check it out, is go check out the webpage that'll be in the link in the comments, um, or you go to my website and look for Balance, Freedom and Flow, that's the name of the, the course, BFF. The masterclass starts in January. Today is a good time to do it. It's maybe the best gift you can give yourself, because when we start in January, your life is gonna be transformed in less than three months. I can promise that. Can't guarantee it, but I can promise that. Because <laughs> that's up to you. Um, Part of that healing journey that I'm talking about with that forgiveness and other piece too is to come back to loving. As I mentioned, giving giving and receiving more love, more joy, more care 
it does start with loving and being joyful with yourself. So wherever you're doing today, wherever you are, practice self-love, meaning that you take care of yourself, meaning that you say no to things that don't work for you, meaning that you say yes to things that do work for you. Kind of simple stuff. But if you need some practice with self-love, which I recommend we all practice on, I do have a mirror meditation that I have on my website too, which I'll also put in the comments, which is two audio tracks and a written book, a workbook to get you through the journey of three months of really facilitating self-love in a way that works. That'll be in the comments too. So those two things will be in the comments after I sign off on this broadcast. And more than anything else, take to heart the core message of what I believe Christmas is about. Be more light-filled, more joyful, more loving, more generous, particularly with the one in the mirror. Yes, make this about you in a good way. That's really all I want to say today. Just because I, I want to go and play, and you're going to go play, and you want to spend a lot of time watching this. So again, links me in the comments. Um, replays, you must have seen those before. This is my daily Facebook Live, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. That's where I normally do it, but because of the holidays, it moves around a bit, so tomorrow should be normal time. Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time daily broadcast on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. My business page on business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby the author. If the replays get saved, although not all of them show because Facebook's like that. You can like my page and follow me there. However, if you want to see all my broadcast, go to my business page on excuse me, go to my YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby for a full link. <laughs> Um, please subscribe to my channel and on there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine but all of my broadcast list and include the ones I mentioned earlier the forgiveness one and the judgment one those are all on there you can check them out scan through for titles and get some teachings and some insights there that'll help you so check out the links in the comments after I sign off have a merry merry Christmas and as I said at the beginning take care of yourself I'll see you again tomorrow bye